I want to go and give a couple of items here to this guy. Boom, boom, boom. Did we get... Oh, yes, we indeed got in here a floppy crate. So I did not open up a floppy crate now in a really long time. Some could say that I did not open it up in 84 years, but I think that's been a bit longer than that. Yo, guys, it is me, Hippisoic, and welcome back to Last Internet Survival. So right now, we're going to be doing one more blind raid and just look at this base. I'm actually surprised myself that this is the way this base is going to look like. Like, there are literally lots of and lots of chests. I'm not even going to bother counting them. But like, oh boy, we could actually enter this base but all of the entrances are blocked by the chests. The good part about it is that I won't even have to use a single C4. Another great part about it is that, is that I don't think I've ever raided this base in the past. So, hey, that's an amazing start to the video. So, I'm gonna drop here. We go two C4s into my chopper just so that I don't explode any accidental level three walls. And if you are enjoying raids, then smash that like button on the video because why not? Like's a very awesome way to support these videos. So, thank you so much, guys, for all your support. I really, really appreciate that. And I think we're gonna start this raid off by chopping down like this chest and... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's just the beginning. Let's calm down, please. That's just the beginning. That's it. We can just go. We can just go. Imagine this raid. Like, it's kind of fun. You know, I've done lots of raids in my life, Like, right? I've done lots of and lots of raids in my life. And I think saying lots of raid would be some sort of an understatement because I've definitely done over 100 raids. I think I've done over 200 raids, maybe 300 raids. I've done like literally lots of and lots of them. And I think this is literally... This is the easiest raid I've ever done. Like, I can already go back to the base. The amount of items we've gotten here is ridiculous. And the fun part about it is that I've done zero research about this base. This is a blind raid. I don't think it would be that epic if I've done some research on this base because then I would have already known what I'm gonna get here and now I'll just get to go and explore all of these chests. I am already very happy with what I have here, so you know what? I think we're just gonna start chopping down these chests from somewhere over here. But as I said, this is so fun to see such a base where the first chest I open up and we're getting so many items. Wow, what is this base? I think I should maybe do some research on it. Like, this is insane base. This base is just stuffed with these items. Whose base was that? Like, my base, I mean, we do have more items than this, but I mean, it's crazy. Look at that. Please tell me red tickets. Red tickets in this chest. I think I'm gonna do research on this base. Like, uh, one red ticket. One red ticket! <laughs> I can't believe that we've literally gotten one red ticket, you know? One chest has full chests of green tickets. Another chest is, like, literally almost full with these orange tickets. And another chest is, like, one red ticket. Like, are you kidding me? Like, am I a joke to you? That is just crazy. But still, in any case, this raid is very awesome. I think when maybe there's gonna be like 50 noise left or something, I'm actually gonna do some research on the base. Maybe I'm even gonna do the research now. Okay, so I've done some research and I do know that this base is gonna have some other really awesome resources. So I just wanna open up this chest for you and just breathe in with me. Your mind is gonna blow when you're gonna see what kind of items we're gonna get here. So... <sighs> Here we go, we are ready to open up this chest. Let's open it up and yeah, three, two, one. Just look at that. Look at how many guns we're gonna get inside of this chest. This is just ridiculous. I don't even know how to call this base. There's no way I'll be able to bring like everything here to my base. And I would just like to point out one more thing is that I do know that some people already started typing that, hey, Sayak, take those orange tickets. Like with orange tickets, you're gonna get actually way more items than with your Glocks, right? Like from stack of those orange tickets, you'll be able to get like what, probably four guns. So you're actually saving four times more space. Blah. Blah, blah, blah. Go take those orange tickets. The point is, I have, like, insane amount of these orange tickets at the base already, so I don't need more. And it's kind of even weird to explain that because I said that many, many times already, and even myself, I do know that it's probably better to take those orange tickets, but I have, like, probably maybe 500 orange tickets at the base. I'm never gonna be able to open up those orange tickets already. That's the point. I will never be able to open up those tickets, so what's the point for me to take more tickets that I'll never be able to open up? Which I do agree. Orange tickets are probably better. I would probably suggest taking taking those orange tickets for everyone, but not in my scenario. That's, that's the case. That's, that's just what I have to say. If I didn't have like 500 orange tickets at the base, I would definitely take like all of these orange tickets because like this stack of orange tickets is like literally like four guns plus two sets of armor and even a little bit more. So yes, these orange tickets are amazing. But as I said, I don't have space in the base for those orange tickets. And the point is, I don't even know what we're going to do. So I actually want to go and do like that trick where you die and you spawn back at the base. So maybe this guy is going to have like somewhere those spike traps or whatever. If he's going to if he's going to have spike traps, then I'm just going to die. But but apparently he does not have any spike traps. So I'm just gonna continue opening up a couple of chests because I'm still not really sure if there's any other chest where you'll get some good loot. I think that maybe chest over here is gonna give you a couple of other guns. Let's check it out. I'm just waiting for another wave of Zamzams to spawn. So here we're gonna get like another extra Glock or whatever. Not really that great. Nothing that amazing. I'm just literally now opening up here random chests. Maybe I'm gonna get something nice as uh, whatever. A little bit of gasoline that I could definitely bring back to my chopper. 
And uh, now I just want another wave of Zamzams to spawn. Wait, I want to open up this chest first. I think that would be a bit better because last chest here have given us like what bunch of first aid kits. Maybe here we're gonna get bunch of steel, <laughs> and now we're gonna get just bunch of and bunch of dirty stinky shoes. Whatever. Let's open up now uh, one more chest, and then I think wave of Zamzams another stack of first aid kits. Like, are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? So I'm gonna deal with most of these Zamzams. I'm just gonna leave now one zombie, and then he's gonna kill me, and I'm gonna spawn back at the base. And uh, yeah, I don't even know if. The, the trick works. If you're gonna die here, if that trick still works. If that trick... I don't even know if it works. Uh, I've heard lots of rumors that it doesn't work anymore. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Call me crazy. But again, I've seriously heard lots of lots of and lots of rumors now that the trick where you die and spawn back at the base to come back here and get more items, that trick does not work anymore. I cannot confirm it, but the point is I'm not gonna be trying out my luck here on this kind of raid, you know? I, I don't wanna be super more greedy just to get like extra five or six stacks of first aid kits. So I'm just gonna drop now, here we go, my hatchets and I'm gonna take the rest of the Glocks here and I would love to bring all of this with me. Like, that is just ridiculous, but whatever. I'm gonna add this stuff here, adding over here. So, three of those, two extra Glocks, and another extra Glock. So, how on earth do I get more space to steal more stuff? I'm just gonna go quickly check out that chopper. Maybe inside of the chopper I left some garbage, but I think it's just gonna be full with first aid kits. Yeah, it's just full with first aid kits. I don't really know how to bring everything. Like, my guy could seriously put something in his mouth. Like, I would definitely bring something in his mouth. Like, you could take off that chest and put it back in your chopper. There are so many ways with my guy here could do, but uh, he's just a dumb dumb. Whatever, we're gonna take one hatchet and I'm gonna try to open up at least one extra chest here. As it doesn't really matter, I don't think we're gonna get here any better loot than we have here already. Unless I'm kind of mistaken. Here we go, I'm gonna open up another chest. We're gonna get here literally nothing. So I still think I can open up one more chest before the big one spawns. But again, I don't really care about that. And I think I'll be able to take maybe one extra stack of those orange tickets. As I said, I already have like 500s of them and whatever. But one extra stack of orange tickets is not gonna hurt anyone. So this raid is insane. I'm scared to do like that trick where you're gonna spawn back at the base. As I've heard lots of and lots of rumors that it does not work. So I'm not gonna do it. What's the point for me to try it out? Uh, all of my loot is just gonna hit disappear. So this base gets IX approval. One of the best bases I've ever raided. Like, literally, it's probably the easiest base I've ever raided, like... For sure, like, it's the best raid I've ever done. I've obviously done some great raids in the past, like, that's for sure. But to have such a base where you just come inside, like, get the loot and go back to the base without exploding a single wall or even chopping down a single wall... I've never had a raid like that. This is seriously the most ridiculous raid I've ever done. So welcome guys to Bunker Alpha. Right now we're gonna be doing the third floor in the hard mode. Just because I have to do entire third floor for the raiders tasks to be able to do one more raid. And yes, indeed, today we're gonna be doing double raid. And at the same time, doing hard mode bunker is gonna be a little bit more interesting than just doing a simple floor. Obviously, if I could, I would probably do the simple mode bunker. But yesterday I've cleared third floor a little bit. I've destroyed that turret and I killed a couple of Zamzam, so that wouldn't have worked. If I cleared now entire third floor in simple mode bunker, that wouldn't have worked. You have to clear entire full third floor in order to complete some sort of a task, but already most of you know that. So, uh, at the same time, I think we'll be able to do this hard mode bunker with a couple of tips. I think I'll be able to share with you a few more tips. So, you can actually do this hard mode bunker if you have enough patience with even your melee weapons. So, wait, I want to take like this gun, boom. We're gonna take like this dude and I can probably hide behind like this wall. Okay, so totally didn't work, totally was not able to hide behind this wall, so I'm gonna try to run over here, but there is gonna be a way for me to hide behind the wall. Look at this, I was just able here we go to hide behind the wall, and now we can actually go and wall trick these guys. Like, literally, wall tricks now in the game are the essential part of it. Like, a lot of people still don't agree with the wall trick, but I can just say, just grow up, just get over it, bro. Wall tricks now are seriously needed in the game here, because after they removed foods, they did not really remove foods, they just nerfed foods, so foods do not restore your health instantly anymore so after that stuff was changed now using wall trick is like literally necessary in order to do bunker alpha properly so why not use that wall trick in hard mode bunker here as well just look at that we saved a little bit of our uh, firearms and i don't have any space in my backpack to bring those items. Okay, so I think I'll have to break a couple of items here. And as soon as I break some stuff, I'm gonna start taking more stuff inside of my backpack. So I'm not gonna be doing here everything with melee weapons because I just wanna show for you that it's actually possible. And probably that's what I would do if you really wanna like get that floppy crate or whatever, then hey, do it with your melee weapons as you're gonna save a bunch of and bunch of firearms. But uh, yeah. That's how I would do it. That's how I would suggest everyone to do it. Just look at this. This guy's gonna follow me. We're gonna hide over here. And uh, we're just gonna be able to punch him just like that. One shot. 
and then one shot. It will be pretty, I wouldn't say that it's like super easy. It definitely takes like a little bit of practice and still some people don't believe me that wall trick still exists. The point is it just takes lots of and lots of practice to do this wall trick properly. Also, you don't have to have a laggy device because most likely if you're gonna have like five frames per second here on last on earth is obviously gonna be a lot harder to perform that wall trick. But uh, okay, so he's gonna explode. I think you can even hide behind the wall for that stuff to explode. Then you just deal with these parasiters here with your simple Glock and that's it. And, and same thing applies to all the other the rooms you just open up this room you're gonna aggro these guys they're all gonna follow you you hide here go behind this wall and uh, okay so some of uh, them are actually attacking you but still that's a lot easier you can actually hide behind the wall and do something it's still a lot more possible to do this wall trick with actually walls I mean it's a lot easier to clear this bunker alpha with walls rather than just wasting your guns and whatever but hey you know me ain't nobody got enough time here to spend 84 years clearing this entire bunker alpha in hard mode with melee weapons so we're gonna use my guns here to be able to clear this floor as fast as possible. There's gonna be Frenzy Giant, and obviously most of you already know this, but just in case, for that one player who has never seen Hard Mode Bunker, I wanna show for you a Lamborghini Frenzy Giant. Like, if you've never seen a Lamborghini Frenzy Giant, look at this, I just wanna show for you how it looks like. I think most of you have seen it. Okay, so look at that. This is Lamborghini Frenzy Giant. Look at how fast he is. He's like literally flying. Obviously, you could even kill those Frenzy Giants here with your melee weapons as well. You just go and wall trick them fully. You'll be able to save incredible amount of your guns. And I think even this way, doing hard mode bunker will actually be worth it. But hey, we're not doing that. We're not trying to do this bunker uh, alpha in hard mode just so that it's super worth it, just so that we get like that floppy crate or something and actually gain some weapons. Because for those who do not know, loot in floppy crates is pretty bad. Like you don't really get their great weapons. You can get their grenade uh, MGL. I mean, you can get like that grenade launcher, but that's like pretty much it. Wait, I just want to show for you how to deal with that uh, wall trick. Here, guy is going to come a bit closer. And I think I'm going to start showing wall trick a little bit more frequently in most of my videos now, because I think that wall trick now is really, really important and I do know that lots of newcomers still don't know about that feature, so hey. It's not really like a feature. I think in the beginning that was just a bug, but developers really never fixed it, and then they kind of embraced it, so now it's like a feature of the game, and some people think that, hey, that's a bug. Some people think that it's just part of the game, and in my opinion, I don't really care. I couldn't care less if it's a feature or if it's a bug. All I know is that it's working, so hey, let's use that wall check now. So we almost dealt with that toxic spitter. I think I'll be able to put him to sleep. We're gonna deal with this explosion. Order. And also there's gonna be like that, whatever his name, I forgot the blind one, right? I don't think we fought blind one in a really long time. And for those who didn't know if you're gonna kill the blind one, you're gonna be able to get like, what, 10 red tickets. So killing the blind one is worth it as well. You can even kill the blind one with your melee weapons. But I don't think we're gonna be doing that today. I'm not really sure if you have to kill the blind one even for the tasks to count. I'm not sure. Maybe you have to kill him. I think you have to kill the blind one. I honestly think you have to kill the blind one to finish the third floor in hard mode bunker, but hey, we'll be able to check that out today. Well, whatever. I dealt with another toxic abomination. I'm gonna take back my Glock, and we're gonna deal with those parasiters. Parasiters, sleep, sleep. And do I have more space? Here we go. We have some more space now in my inventory, so I'm gonna delete this. I'm gonna bring with me a spread shot, and I think I'm gonna be able to start picking up at least some items. Yeah, I think on my way back, we're gonna take all of these Sources, not a big deal. So now we're gonna deal with one more frenzy giant. I think you can even wall trick this frenzy giant over here, like literally on this wall. That would still work. Here we go. I'm gonna let him come a little bit closer. I think he can come even a bit closer. Here we go. Oh no! No, I'm dead! Oof! I survived! I survived! How? How on earth? Okay, so he punched me there. So you know what? I thought that it's gonna work, but apparently I think I have to get stay here. That will be easier. Yeah, this is the more convenient wall. Okay, so again, I'm gonna let him come closer. I think this is as close as he can get. I still think he can get a bit closer. Here we go, that's a bit better. That's a lot easier. The closer he gets, the, the better the wall trick you're gonna be able to do. So here we go, we're gonna take simple gun, uh, simple melee weapon, and here we go. Then you just dance with this frenzy giant. You gotta get into the groove, and uh, hey, as you can see, it's gonna work. And again, it all comes with practice. It's not like I would know that you can actually cut here or go through this wall in this place. I've just done a bunch of wall tricks exactly in this spot, so I kind of know where it works, where it doesn't work. Because each wall here is gonna be like a little bit different, so the more you'll practice on a certain wall, the better you'll really know how to lure these guys and whatever. So I think I've done, I've said most of the tips about like these wall tricks, and I think I'm gonna start saying these tips a lot more frequently in a lot more videos, just as I said, because yeah, wall tricks now are really, 
really important. Okay, so I think in this room I'm gonna be able to use a spread shot. I know there's only two of them. Eh, it's not really worth it to use your spread shot because from what I know, you have to use spread shot on three guys in order for the spread shot to be efficient. Efficient because each spread shot takes about like three shots or two shots or something. I don't know. I don't really remember. I remembered all of that stuff when spread shot came out. I remember I've done some research. I've done some calculations, but now I just forgot that stuff. But I do know that you have to use like your spread shot on three zombies and then it's actually gonna be worth it. Oh no, Frenzy Giant, Frenzy Giant, Lamborghini Frenzy Giant, get out of my face. And also, I do like showing this one more trick. So look at this, there's gonna be this Frenzy Giant, and sometimes as soon as you open up the door here, he's gonna start punching you in the face. So what you have to do, you have to hear, as soon as he starts punching you, you go over here to this side, and then you stay close to this wall, and Frenzy Giant inside of that room is gonna start punching you from over here, then you quickly open up the door, and boom, he did not punch you in the face. So for those players who struggle with opening up that door, and whenever they always, whenever that Frenzy Giant punches you in the face, then hey, this is a quick and easy fix to that. Because I remember when I started playing the game and probably for an entire year or something, I kept getting getting punched in the face until I came up with that uh, thingy. So let's deal with one more Frenzy Giant. Boom, let's take the... Wait, I did not take the notebook. Let's take the notebook. And there's gonna be like this locked chest. So I didn't really loot any other chests here in that bunker alpha because most of these chests are not gonna have great loot and whatever. And I just wanna be done with this bunker as soon as possible to go for one more raid. But I'm not gonna say no to opening up like that chained chest. And even though inside of that chained chest, we did not get anything, but eh. It is what it is, I guess. I haven't used that saying for a really long time, but it's probably better than nothing. Whatever, we're gonna put this exploder to sleep, and I think we're kinda done with this in almost... So here we've just put that exploder to sleep and I'm kind of halfway through it. So this is uh, the most valuable place now of entire bunker alpha hard mode because here you're gonna get bunch of and bunch of frenzy giants. So I would really suggest you now killing all of these frenzy giants just with your melee weapons. It's gonna take a little bit of the time, but you're gonna get bunch of these notebooks from them. And for those who do not know, notebooks give you the biggest, the highest amount of points. Okay, so that's kind of lame. That frenzy giant is definitely gonna outrun me. Well, here I've just got punched in the face once. So yeah, this place is gonna have like, what, four or five Frenzy Giants? I don't really remember, never really counted them, but this place has lots of and lots of Frenzy Giants just in one place. So if you're gonna use your couple of melee weapons here, you're gonna be able to get a bunch of those either military notebooks or either like those chevrons, and the chevrons are awesome as well. And here we go, this is the cool place to do that wall trick. You can actually let that Frenzy Giant come a bit closer, and this is where you can do the wall trick. That's where I usually do it. But if you fail doing that wall trick over here, you can actually lure that Frenzy Giant to come over here, boom then you'll be able to do the wall check from this side as well. So yeah, there are a bunch of places, there are a bunch of ways on how you can do wall check here in Bunker Alpha. Just practice and it's gonna come to you because wall check is all about practice in my opinion. It's kind of really sad where people say that wall check does not exist, that they cannot replicate it. And they say that that people are lying about that wall check, that wall check only exists in my account for some reason. And I'm like, bruh. But hey, there's nothing I can do about that. So whatever, we're gonna continue with this French giant. And again, there's another way where you can do that wall trick another place, I mean. I think I can even let him come a bit closer. Here we go. This is probably the closest that he can get. Uh, otherwise, he's going to start punching me through that wall. So this is another really great wall to do your wall tricks. Again, I'm wall tricking him here with my Glock. And when he's going to have a little bit of health, I want to show for you something else. Again, another tr uh, another information about the wall trick because I think maybe that's what's confusing lots of and lots of people. So the point is this Frenzy Giant isn't stuck there permanently. So let's say I'm going to attack him. Here we go. One more time. I think another shot. Uh, here we go. Another shot. So if I'm going to stay here, he's not going to punch me. But if I'm gonna go over here, he look at this, he's gonna start following me. If I'm gonna get here or over there, he's gonna just get outside now, any moment. Look at this, he's, he got outside. So I think maybe that's why some people don't believe that that wall trick exists. They're just gonna uh, go way too far and then that frenzy giant starts following them. So you have to stay close to them and you have to keep coming back to the same spot so that he does not follow you. That's the whole point of that wall trick. And I just remember that there's gonna be like that very tough room with lots of and lots of zombies. And I already don't like it, but whatever. We're gonna sneak behind like this toxic abomination. And for some reason, this toxic abomination does not explode. I don't remember which toxic abomination, but one of those toxic bombs do not explode. I'm gonna take like this AK, that's it. I should not be wasting this AK, I should be saving it for something else. But this exploder is not going to explode. Yeah, for some reason it's bugged out for, since probably like that bunker alpha heart mode came out so hey i'm not gonna say no to that so that is gonna be a very huge room with bunch of and bunch of dudes inside of it so i think we're even gonna clear it right now but okay i still have a little bit of armor here i also brought with me like this kevlar armor 
just for the memes, like literally. I already explained my thinking, why am I like using that Kevlar armor, is because it's here in the game, so why not use it? If I ever will require some sort of Kevlar armor to do like some sort of a place, I think there will be a way for players to obtain that Kevlar armor. I don't think this is the only Kevlar armor that we have. I think I had like five sets of Kevlar armor or something because you were able to get it from like those season passes and whatever. And yeah, in any case, this is my Kevlar armor and if I want to use it, I'll definitely use it. I'm literally using it just for the sake of entertainment. And what's the point to keep it at the base? It's more fun to use it and maybe annoy a couple of people who are like, Sark, you're wasting that Kevlar armor. It's always fun to annoy those people. <laughs> okay, so this thing is almost broken. I'm gonna take back my armor. I think I'm just gonna dump this armor over here inside of like this store just so that I don't have to delete it. Uh, I'm gonna take this spread shot. I'm gonna take this AK. I'm gonna eat a little bit of carrots. Here go. I'm ready. I'm ready to come inside. Obviously, I could probably sneak behind that zombie just to get some more damage, but blah, blah. We don't care about it. I'm also gonna bring my first aid kits. I'm gonna gather all of these guys. Here go at the same spot. Spread shot. And now we're just gonna use my AK. I think I'm just literally gonna probably almost hold it. Except that Toxica Bomb. Go to sleep. Exploder. Okay, another Toxic. No, no, no. I wanna finish Toxic Abomination. Here we go, we're gonna destroy that Toxica bomb. And I'm gonna put Exploder, here we go, to sleep, and boom, that's it. So we've shredded all of these guys into tiny smithereens, obviously having fully modded AK and Kevlar armor here, it was really easy, so yeah. This room is pretty tough to deal with. Most of the time you just have to run around and do entire circle in Bunker Alpha, just to run away from these guys and chipping away some damage to them with like your Glock or something, but hey, here we've done it this way, and I lost like a little bit of durability in my Kevlar armor, that was not worth it. I also wasted a couple of first aid is there but does not matter as i said i just want to be done with this bunker alpha hard mode and go and do one more raid i'm probably gonna hide behind this wall can i even do oh no that wall trick did not work on that wall because i don't think i've ever done wall trick on that wall so whatever i think i'm gonna do one more shot sleep sleep Thank you very much, Frenzy Giant. And also, I would like to answer another question because some people are like, well, Sark, where are your free-to-play videos? Why did you stop making free-to-play videos on your account and whatever? And the answer to that is that there's not much I can show on that free-to-play account. Like, the entire point of that free-to-play account was to show that you can actually play this game as a free-to-play player without spending a single penny here in the game. And we've proved that already in that free-to-play account, so there's no point for me to go and do, like, that bunker alpha again and again because I already have, like, this account. I already spent like probably over a thousand hours in this account so what's the point for me to go and start another one and do exactly same thing as i've done here i've already proven on that account oh no i accidentally aggroed another guy talking here so yeah i already proved that it's possible to get rich in this game without spending any money i already showed you how to do like that bunker alpha efficiently so what's the point for me to spend again another hundred hours another like thousand hours or something just to be able to get hundred guns instead of like 50 or whatever guns we have on that free to play account already so that was a pretty long Long explanation, but shorter explanation is that just keep doing bunker alpha. That's it. The entire free to play point is just to do like that bunker alpha. This entire game just like lives around like that bunker alpha. That's it. You have to do bunker alpha every two days. And if you're a free to play player, you have to do like that bunker alpha. That's it. There's nothing else. You there's no way around it. So yeah, that's it. Bunker alpha, bunker alpha. I said that many times in this video, but hey, bunker alpha is the key to success, is the key to be rich here in this game. So that's the reason why I'm not continuing in my free-to-play account because there's nothing new that I can show for you. And I would much rather do that bunker alpha on this account rather than doing it on different account because what's the point? So now I'm gonna collect the rest of the notebooks here and whatever, and I'm gonna go back to the base without killing the the blind one here and if I'm gonna be able to do a raid without killing the blind one then you will know that you don't have to kill the blind one in order to do the raid which again probably everybody's gonna kill that blind one I think you you're a psychopath if you're avoiding to kill the blind one as it's very very worth it you're gonna get like what 10 red tickets from that blind one for like either one shotgun or like two melee weapons or whatever. But just again, for the sake of education, which again, probably some people already know that, but for the sake of education, I'm not gonna kill that blind one now just to be able to know if you can start a raid without killing the blind one. If you have to clear the third floor in those tasks. Okay, so I came to my base and it looks like that third floor task did not count. So probably we have to go and kill that blind one. But before we do this, 
Uh, I want to go and give a couple of items here to this guy. Boom, boom, boom. Did we get... Oh, yes, we indeed got in here a floppy crate. So I did not open up a floppy crate now in a really long time. Some could say that I did not open it up in 84 years, but I think that's been a bit longer than that. I think it's been a little bit longer than 84 years for sure. So here we go. I'm going to try to go and destroy that blind one. Probably we're just going to use a snap transition here. Just as usual, everybody loves snap transitions. Well, and just like that, I think we're going to be able to put the blind one to sleep, sleep. Here we go. The blind one is completely sleeping. And here we're going to get a couple of extra items. We're also going to go for one extra raid. So yeah, there's lots of things that we are able to do today. We're going to do like literally double raid and also opening up a floppy crate, which I haven't done now for a really... I don't even rem I don't even remember the last time when I've opened up like that floppy crate. Like, I can't... I cannot remember that. I cannot really remember this maybe half a year ago. Wow. And after we killed the blind one in the third floor hard mode bunker, finally, that task counted. So we're going to be doing another raid. But before we go there, we're going to go here to the floppy crate location because let's open up that floppy crate. So now, if this is going to be an infected chest, I'm going to be really, really not happy because my entire infected uh, crate thing, like that acid bath, I mean, that entire acid bath is just filled with items and I can't be bothered sorting that stuff out. I don't even think I'll be able to do it because my entire base is just fully filled. So I won't even be able to move those resources from my acid bath to my base. So yeah, if we're going to get infected chest, I think I'm just going to keep it on my chopper. So I kind of hope that this is infected chest. Okay, so this is just a simple chest. We've seen it already. It would be kind of cool if that was infected chest. I'd be just able to place it on my chopper and drive with it for forever because if you're gonna put an infected chest on the floor at your base it's just gonna disappear so i don't drop it on your floor so let's open up this thing and i'm hoping for a for a grenade launcher if no then no it's gonna be okay with me and here we're gonna get a whatever blueprint two c4s a swat set uh, pretty okay. We're gonna get here going AK. A little bit of steel, boom, boom, like some other items. So, again, don't get me wrong. It's not like bad loot or whatever, but at the same time, it's totally not the best. Even if you're gonna do entire hard mode bunker just with wall trick, it's still probably not gonna be worth it because you're gonna spend there lots of and lots of time doing like that hard mode bunker. Plus, you're still gonna waste your melee weapons. Plus, you're still probably gonna waste a little bit of armor and a little bit of first aid kits. And just to get like what? One SWAT set and like one. AK with a little bit of steel. It's not worth it. It's seriously just not worth your time, not worth your efforts. Everybody's saying that, but hey, for some reason, we don't get better loot in that crate and eh, whatever. It is what it is. That's why probably nobody does like that bunker alpha hard mode. So here we go. We're going to go to this raid very, very soon. But before we go there, let's talk a little bit about some more sneak peeks on Last Day on Earth Survival. So soon we're going to have new season, season 9. And apparently that season 9 is going to take place inside of the Sector 7. So without any further ado, let's just watch now a trailer that developers have released. There's not really much stuff going on here inside of this trailer. We can see like our like that simple Sector 7. Something new here is going on because there's going to be that sign that's going to say open. So probably Metro thingy is going to be open now or whatever. And boom, we've just seen that other short sneak peek. That's it. That's the entire trailer. But what interests us the most is this picture because here we can see some new things probably added to like that Sector 7. So first of all, it's going to be really weird to have a completely full season inside of like that sector seven because not everyone is like level 150 so will they reduce the levels in order to join like that sector seven because i don't kind of believe that you know what entire season nine is going to come out and literally majority of the players are not going to be able to join it so what season nine is going to be like what only for like 10 percent of the players if there are even 10 percent players who are like above level 150 so i do think that they're going to reduce that level probably you're going to be able to join like that sector seven at like level 15 or like whatever because because usually those are required levels in order to start a new season. So I think that's a pretty cool step in the new direction. And at the same time, we can see probably like this crater. That's where we live. That's the biggest like blob here. That's probably going to be our crater. Then on the right side, we can see like some sort of a huge satellite dish. Probably that's going to be some sort of a new location. I'm not really sure what that's going to be. But hey, there's like that huge satellite dish. And at the top right thing, that's what's interesting for me the most. It looks like this is going to be a nuclear power plant. And Sector 7 is already like like filled with some sort of nuclear thingies everywhere like there's that radiation going on so maybe just maybe that's where all this radiation stems from because we can already find like some sort of destroy the trucks with like radiation barrels and whatever in like random locations so so having like a nuclear plant somewhere close to our crater kind of makes sense so i'm very excited about this updated this is going to be something really new and i've already seen some players being like very negative about it oh i don't care about sector 7 i don't care what they're gonna add there 
there well. And what I have to say about this is that I'm very excited to see what's gonna happen here with that Sector 7 because currently we did not see lots of new updates and I would like to see something permanently added to the game and I don't really think that they're just gonna add like some sort of a small event inside of like that Sector 7 so I think we're gonna get, get some sort of permanent content inside of Sector 7 so I'm just excited about that. Let's just wait and see how all of that stuff's gonna look like because I don't really think we should like get inside of this update with a negative mindset because if you're, if you're gonna think about something really negatively then most likely it's gonna be a bad update. So let's just hope it's gonna be good because what's the point to be negative? But Sark, you're the one complaining all the time! In my defense, I am never complaining. I've literally never complained in my entire life. But whatever, all that stuff aside, now we're actually gonna start raiding. Here we go, this base and I'm not expecting anything great from this base because uh, already the first base that we raided today was just like mwah, very amazing. So I don't think this base is gonna be like that great and uh, just look at that. Can I go to the very top? Maybe we're gonna be able to destroy it with my hatchets. No, this is not the... Yeah, 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 we cannot use hatchets on this base. So I'm gonna walk over here. We can get some chests here. Most likely these are just gonna be some sort of bait chests. But again, we're gonna check it out. Let's open it up. One rubber part. I'm gonna probably open up one more chest over here. And if I don't get anything, then these are gonna be... Yeah, probably we're not gonna get anything good in it. So I don't really wanna make any more noise. So without any further ado, we're gonna destroy this door. Uh, hopefully I placed it in the right place. So while that wall is gonna explode... And nothing inside of this chest, so we're gonna deal with this web of zamzams. And it's not really like that bad, you know, to go another and do another raid if you've done already a really nice raid, because the raid that I've done today, that first raid is gonna last me like for probably a couple of months. Seriously, the amount of first aid kits we've gotten there is just ridiculous. So that was a very nice raid. So basically, you're raiding these bases just to be able to get like that one really great raid. And when you're and, and when you're gonna get like this really great raid, you're gonna be uh, set for quite a bit of time. So inside of here, we're just gonna get like a little bit of gasoline and an electronic circuit. So already not that bad. Five gasoline is pretty okay, but not something that would make me go, wow. It just makes me go a little bit like, oh, it's just a small, wow. But that's it. We've gotten two extra gasoline here, so let's deal with the rest of these floater bloaters, toxic abominations and whatever. So here goes, Zamzams are sleeping, and let's open up now one extra chest. So there are, what, two chests left. I think we'll be able to open up all of them before the big one spawns. I mean, couple of hatch. It's not that amazing, but hey, I'm definitely going to take them. A stack of duct tape, nothing really here. I think I'm gonna take some nails because I'm kind of running out of nails because I'm crafting bunch of and bunch of those level two hatchets. So I kind of don't have lots of nails. So why not take them? And we can take stack of oak. Hey, let's do this and a little bit of red tickets and some aluminum. So that's pretty much it what we've gotten from this base. So I just want to get outside now and open up the rest of those chests here. I think there's gonna be like only like one, one or two chests left. Yeah, there are two chests left. So Let's open up this chest. Hopefully the wave of zombies is not gonna spawn. Here we go, they did not spawn. We can get three extra ATV wheels, so I probably suggest you taking them if you still don't have all your ATV wheels inside of your ATV. But if you have all the ATV wheels already, you can also take them to recycle that stuff because there is a chance that you might get a steel bar. So that's pretty much it. We've raided this entire base. I didn't really get here anything inside of this base, so this base does not get Sark's approval. Pretty lame base, to be honest. But at least the first base that we've done today was... So I highly suggest you checking out the most beautiful survival game ever or click here on the second card and you'll go to this amazing green hell video or hop over to my channel go to playlist and there you'll find a lot of other games that i played here on the channel if you're not subscribed yet definitely be sure to drop the subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos and consider following me on instagram or twitter at epicyric mm -hmm. yep